Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to the Dog Solid channel. Today we will be discussing the curly-headed barbet. Before we dive into the top pros and cons of owning a barbet, let's play some Dog Solid trivia. What does the French word barbet mean in English? Is it A, curly, B, mud dog, C, beard, D, otter? Take your best guess and comment it below in the comment section. Watch until the end of the video for an answer. You may be surprised, or maybe you won't. Here's a quick overview of the barbet. The barbet, pronounced barbet, with the T being silent, hails all the way from France. It is believed that their origin started sometime around the 16th century because that is when this beautiful breed began to start showing up in the artwork. Let's stop for a minute and appreciate the 16th century artwork of the barbet. Hunting water games was the primary use of the barbet breed in France, but this breed was also versatile and held other various jobs. One notable fact to know about this intelligent breed is that after the World Wars, they almost became extinct. But because the Barbet was such a smart and loving and devoted breed, the very few breeders that were left slowly but surely were able to restore the breed's lineage. Here are some stats of this classic breed. The Barbet's temperament, according to the American Kennel Club, is friendly, bright, and sweet in nature. The height of this friendly breed can grow anywhere between 19 to 24 and a half inches. The weight of the Barbet is 31 to 62 pounds, and they have a life expectancy of up to 12 to 14 years. The AKC has grouped this breed in the sporting breed category. Now, let's continue to the top pros of owning the Barbet. Pro number one, very intelligent and easy to train. The Barbets are incredibly intelligent dogs and are able to learn new tricks very quickly. Besides being great hunting water dogs, they also excel at agility training, which can be difficult for some breeds to pick up. Since they are so intelligent, it can make obedience training and housebreaking rather smooth, which would make the Barbet a great breed to own if you are a first time dog owner. In order to have a well behaved pup, you must invest in consistent training and socializing with other people and animals. The Barbet is a dedicated breed and wants to please their owners. However, they do not respond to harsh training, but prefer a fun and consistent training that is not boring and repetitive and keeps them interested. Pro number two, socializes easy with other pets. Since the Barbet is naturally friendly and a fun-loving breed, they tend to socialize well with other dogs and cats with proper socialization. Proper socialization includes socializing the Barbet as a young puppy and monitoring their positive interaction, which leads to having a better chance of the Barbet getting along with other dogs and while also enjoying their companionship. The Barbet will tend to revert back to its natural instinct of a sporting breed and may tend to chase smaller animals or pets. Another thing to add here is that the Barbet also tends to do well with children of all ages. Just remember that it is always important to teach your younger children how to properly interact with any dog and there should always be an adult supervising when children are playing with the Barbet. But the temperament of the Barbet will typically be inherently gentle with children. Pro number three, low shedder. If you are a person that suffers from allergy or a person that wants a dog that doesn't shed too often, then the Barbet is the perfect dog for you. With many other breeds, you will have to deal with some type of shedding of dog hair on your clothes, sofa, and other random places where you had no idea that dog hair could accumulate. You see, the Barbet is a perfect example of why you should never judge a book by its cover, literally. One would think that if you hug this beautiful bearded dog that you would be covered in dog hair, similar to when you hug a husky or a lab. But with the Barbet, that is just not the case. Their beautiful locks tend to stay in place until you comb them. But we will discuss that more in the grooming section of the video. Pro number four, great water skills. Dubbed the nickname water dog by the French, the Barbet is no stranger to water. Historically, the Barbet was used for hunting water games. During the 16th century, Henry IV used the Barbet to hunt waterfowl. Waterfowl is a type of bird that resides primarily in the water. So if you happen to live near some body of water, such as a pond, a lake, or a beach, and you want to have a dog that enjoys it just as much as you do, then you and the Barbet are a perfect match. The Barbet was born for water and is quite comfortable with swimming, which will ease your anxiety if you're worried about your pooch drowning. Even if you don't live near any body of water, but you do prefer a lot of physical activities outdoor, you should still consider this water dog as it is able to keep up due to its natural physical endurance. The Barbet makes a great companion if you're interested in the following hobbies. Stand up paddle boarding, surfing, swimming, kayaking, fishing, or anything in between. Pro number five, loves to snuggle. It should not be a surprise to you that the Barbet loves to snuggle or cuddle. 
As stated earlier, the temperament of the Barbette is loving and friendly. When clean, their soft curly coat makes the perfect pet for maximum petting and snuggling. Snuggling with its owner is one of the many ways that the Barbet shows affection and also strengthens its bond with its owner. According to some researchers, dogs care more about bonding with the owners more than any other pet, which may be shocking to all of the cat owners out there. The Barbet is more than just a Velcro dog, as some Velcro dogs just want to follow you around the house but don't really want to be touched as much. Even though the Barbet is not a lap dog, it definitely acts like one. If you want a dog that will give you love and affection, then look no further. Well, that wraps up the top five pros of owning a Barbet. Now we're going to dive into the cons. Every breed has some type of undesirable trait, and the Barbet is no exception to the rule. Check out these cons and see if this breed is the right breed for you. Con number one, extensive grooming needs. Now, I know I said earlier that these dogs are low shedders. However, in no way does that mean that this dog does not need any particular grooming. This breed will require an owner who's committed to maintaining their curly coats, which can be very time consuming. The Barbet's long curly locks tend to tangle and mat without consistent brushing and combing, just as your own hair would if you went without maintaining it. The hair of the Barbet is a magnet for debris, especially after a walk. So you must have an arsenal of brushes and combs to have this breed looking at its best. Grooming doesn't have to be a chore. It can actually be a wonderful bonding experience for you and your dog. Also to note, you don't have to have the Barbet's hair cut by a professional groomer. You can actually do it yourself with just a brush or a comb and a good bath. Con number two, attracted to getting wet and dirty. Another history fact about the Barbet is that the French gave them another nickname in addition to the water dog. And that nickname is the mud dog. Due to the fact that their paws would get extremely muddy while hunting waterfowl. The instinct of the Barbet attracts them to muddy and swampy places. It's like they can't help themselves whenever they see a puddle or anything that is probably going to get them dirty. The speculation behind this behavior is that it allows them to mask their scent whenever they have to sneak up on prey. One way to discourage this behavior is to keep their hair short, which makes them easier to clean off because their hair won't pick up as much dirt as usual. Also, if you keep the Barbet's hair short, it tends to make them cooler, which could possibly reduce their tendency to play in the mud. But as mentioned earlier, these dogs' coats are a magnet for debris. Con number three, prone to separation anxiety. Since the Barbet absolutely loves their human and always wants constant attention, it is not unusual for them to have separation anxiety. These dogs will follow you everywhere and are just happy to be around you in your presence. Most owners might find this behavior endearing, but if you think that it might drive you a little nuts having your own little personal shadow, then you might need to look elsewhere. Also, because they want to follow you around the house, it makes them not the best candidates for kennel. Some signs that your barbe may be experiencing separation anxiety is excessive drooling, accidents in the home, and destructive behavior. Also, if you're a person that works a lot and is barely home, then this is just another reason why the barbe might not be for you. Con number four, easily bored. Intelligence is one of the main personality traits of the Barbet. If they are not stimulated physically or mentally, then the Barbet can become bored. With boredom comes destruction. When the Barbet is bored, it will make up its own version of fun, which includes chewing furniture and shoes, shredding pillows, or even unrolling your toilet paper. Anything to pass the time. The best way to combat this behavior is physical exercise, which is the bread and butter of this breed. If you give this breed enough physical exercise, it is more than likely that they will nap as opposed to making trouble if and when you step out. Con number five, hard to find a pure breeder. The Barbet is considered an extremely rare breed. As today, there's an estimate of about 500 listed in the United States. So finding a breeder might be rather difficult. Because of the lack of abundance of Barbets, you might have to travel far in order to find the right breeder, which will definitely be worth all the effort in the end. Also, you might have to be put on the waiting list, which could last anywhere from a couple of months to a couple of years in order to get this reputable pup. So make sure that you're willing to take some extra measures to find a great breeder. If not, you might end up with a dud or some other breed that is not a Barbet. Well, that wraps up the pros and cons video about this Barbet. And as promised, here is the answer to the dog solid trivia question from the beginning of the video. If you answer C, beard, then you are correct. The French word Barbet means beard. Thank you for watching this video and check out my other playlist on other dog breeds 
The link is below in the description. And also don't forget to subscribe to the Dog Solid channel and I'll see you in the next video.